Hi, this is Matt and this is a video on how to download your Facebook data. So if you want to get a full export of all of the data uh, from your entire Facebook account, this is the video that you need. So wherever you are on Facebook, I'm on one of my pages here, my filmmaking lifestyle page. Uh, it's an active uh, Facebook page for my website, filmlifestyle.com. Uh, but wherever you are on Facebook, whether you're on your personal profile, whether you're on a page or someone else's page or wherever you are, you can access this in the same way. So in order to actually download your data, all you need to do is come up to the top. So whether this is a picture of you, whether it's a picture of your page or someone else's page, you just click on account right here. You've got some of your different accounts here. And then you want this option here for settings and privacy so we click that one and then we click settings at the top then we're going to have this window open here for settings and privacy and all we need to do is come down to your information so we've got the your information section here so you've got things like the activity log and things here but the one that we want is actually download your information so we click on that one and then we get this rather large uh, many option window that opens up here. So you can read this. There's some general information from Facebook itself talking about HTML formats, JSON formats. If you don't know what HTML and JSON is in general, HTML is the uh, language which the entire internet is uh, kind of programmed in or aspects of most web pages. Uh, so, you, you you know, most web pages are in HTML format, so you can get it in HTML format. JSON is another programming uh, language, uh, and it's just a way to kind of transmit data, so large amounts of data. So you can have uh, JSON format and you can have HTML format. Uh, you don't really need to know that, but uh, you do need to make a selection here. So the default is HTML. Uh, you can select JSON if you want a JSON. Uh, export of your data then we've got media quality because this is going to give us uh, images as well uh, and videos uh, you can choose high medium or low uh, based on the media quality and then we do need to select a date range so this isn't actually selected by default if you come down to the bottom you can't actually request your download uh, that's grayed out so you can't click that until you've actually set a date range so we have to manually set a date range we've got last week uh, last month and then there's obviously a whole load of other ones so we can have all time if we want we can have the last six months uh, i'm just going to go for last month for the purposes of this video but obviously feel free to uh, choose whichever one you want there and then this is important as well so we can deselect all so these are all the different options of the data that we're going to export so as it says here this is essentially all of the posts that you've created uh, it's all of these things so uh, whatever pages you have uh, what you've done in in posts, uh, in pages even, and groups. Uh, we've got polls, we've got everything. I mean, you can look down here. It will even save your stories, your live videos, uh, all of your activity, really, that you've uh, done across Facebook, across the time span that you set here. So obviously, if you are a big user of Facebook and you select all time, and you might have a Facebook account which is sort of 10 plus years old, and you have all of these selected, it's going to be an awful lot of data. But that's up to you. It's just going to take longer to actually download that data later on. So you can select any of these that you want. It's up to entirely up to you, of course. And then as long as you have a date range selected, all you need to do now is come down to the bottom and you click on this blue button at the bottom for request a download. And that will go through and a copy of, so we get this notification here, a copy of this profiles information is being created so what that's going to do is that's going to actually uh, send that to your email and you'll be able to then go into your email and you'll download it in html or json format depending on what you've selected so you'll get that email um, it might take a while as it says down here it might take a while based on uh, the size of the amount of data that you've gone for here that you've actually selected uh, but in general, it shouldn't take too long. You can go in and look at your email now and you'll most likely have that email from Facebook with the data. You just download it and it will probably be a zip file uh, depending on how big it is. You'll have JSON, you'll have HTML and then you can just open your data and do whatever it is that you want to do with your Facebook data. So hopefully this video on how to download 
your Facebook data has been helpful for you. Mm -hmm.